it all starts with John because yeah. what's going on in there goes all the way back to the business of the transistor. You know, and, 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 and you know where the transistor starts and gets propagated. Everett was a building in which it was propagated to the people who were going to take it further and further and further. Right. Not those guys going in and, and ladies going into bioengineering. They have to give it the further identity. In a very real sense, a huge amount of the work that we do and that we're able to do in, in biological engineering, we wouldn't be able to do if it weren't for all of the advances that came from this information age and these technological advances. There's a unique and interesting tie-in and it's also just, you really feel like you're standing on the shoulders of giants. Everett was uh, central in the transformation of universities in the 40s. And so it's really kind of uh, fitting that the same building, right, with the same name, is there for the next transition, which is really this this quantitative nature, the the engineering component of medicine in the 21st century. My group wants to, you know, really do some innovative and impactful work in our field, which is uh, therapeutic microbial engineering. The the building has all these resources that are available, and I really think that us being able to do what we want to do is going to also be enhanced by having this access to other labs and other people and other ideas. Um, I really feel like it's a, a really supportive environment. We are really excited that the Simulation Center is located in the same building as bioengineering. And the fact that we are co-located also means that there is a very good synergy being built between medical students and the engineering students. And this will create an environment where there's a cross uh, mixing of ideas between uh, different groups of people. In the cell and tissue engineering lab course, we teach students to do both bacteria and mammalian cell culture work. Uh, we greatly expanded our space to um, bring in a lot more new equipment for our students to use, and the students have a lot more space to work. So I think they're going to get a lot more hands-on opportunities in this space, um, and it's going to be really wonderful to teach here. Just having those great, sort of very modern and uh, uh, very 21st century uh, technologies all put together in this place with our teachers, you know, our, our instructors are spectacular. I got to see some of the space when um, they were first doing the renovation and it was just so exciting to come in here and see the teaching spaces especially, which I think is the highlight of the building. And I think the students are going to have a great time here. What I'm hoping is that we as a, as a faculty and as student bodies sort of have the sense of home. Uh, it, it's really going to help with the memories that students have when they're here. They'll, they'll have a place that they'll, they'll recognize and sort of think about as their school days. Because right you know, before now, we've been a little bit everywhere. And so we'll finally have a place that we're, where we're all coming together.